Where can they be? They should have him by now. I, I wonder what's taking so long. <sighs> Calm down, Ludmilla. They'll have him. I know they will. But will they have him tied up so he can't escape? After all, they're using his own writings to capture him. I wonder if he realized that his own stories would come true, that he himself brought upon his capture. The clandestine kidnapping, his daily routine, who would have thought he would put his real-life activities into his stories? It makes it so much easier to track him down and know exactly when to pounce. <laughs> but I had to send some of my friends to collect him. I can't be seen with him. No, no. That wouldn't be good. Connecting me with his disappearance would not be good for me. But it's for a good cause. He will still be able to do his favorite activity in the world. Writing stories for me. However, the circumstances of his writing will be changed drastically from what he is used to. Yes, his writings are amazing. They need to be mine. And mine alone. Oh my goodness, they're here. Please, please, come in, quick. You got him? Is that him in that sack? Oh, and he's struggling, too. In chains, you say? Gagged. And blindfolded? Good, good. Get him secured to his chair. Then we can discuss your adventures. There. Now he's not going anywhere. No, leave his blindfold and gag on. Tell me more about his capture. So he was right where we thought he would be? Walking home from the library at night? Down an alley, no less. You think he would know better, right? <laughs> Luckily for us, he wasn't careful. And you distracted him while you snuck up behind him? And he didn't even put up much of a fight. <laughs> hmm. Maybe this is what he wanted after all. Maybe he's into that. I don't know. Thank you, too, for all your hard work. You got my muse. Were you spotted by anyone? Not a soul? Great. So no one knows where he's at. This is perfect. I could take it from here. And, as you said, he's not much of a fighter. So he'll be easier to control. If not, I'll just simply use some feminine charm on him. He won't be able to resist me. Thank you so much, ladies, for everything. A clap? For this gift? Absolutely. We'll talk in the morning and I'll let you know how everything went. Love both of you, too. Bye-bye. Now, my darkling rider, let me remove your blindfold, shall we? Do you recognize my voice? I am Ludmilla. I am the one that reads all those wonderful scripts you post. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I've read your stories with delight and intrigue. You've taught me so many things. Like keeping your gag in place so you don't try to dissuade me. Or heaven forbid, yell for help. No, dear boy, the gag stays, and you will listen, like the good boy I know you are. <laughs> your stories set the stage for your capture. Everything I needed to know was right in your very own scripts. All I had to do was act upon them. From your routines during the day, what your activities were, I even figured out when you wrote and everything I needed to know about you. You practically gave me the blueprint to capture you. Down to your weaknesses. Hence the silk in your mouth. 
I know, I know. You have a litany of questions that you simply aren't able to ask. I know what you're wanting to know, though. Where are you? Why did I have you kidnapped? What am I going to do with you? I already know. Didn't I don't need you speaking from those questions. Well, here's the info you need. I love your stories. I love how well your stories have done in my channel. Your one story was so amazing that it's done more than many others combined. And I knew. I simply had to have you. Mm -hmm. All mine. My own captive muse. Yes, you're here because I want your stories and I want them all to myself. And thanks to your stories, you gave me valuable insight on how to keep you my prisoner and ensure you continue writing beautiful, beautiful scripts for me. Yes, talking is out. You don't need to speak to write, do you? No, you don't. We will be gagged throughout. I know eating will be difficult in the beginning. I'll have to feed you, but... And this is very important for you to understand. The stipulations for eating is... You'll have to be productive before I feed you. Understand? Nod your head, baby. Good boy. Oh, and one other thing. Just because I remove your gag to feed you does not give you the right to speak. One word, and the gag goes back in until next meal. Are we clear? Good boy. See, you are getting, getting the hang of this captive stuff. When it comes time for reading the script, I want to be able to see you so I can watch your reaction as I read it to you. That's not something you wrote about, but it's in my own special twist on things. I want to see your reaction when you become the recipient of your own world. <laughs> of course, you will be dependent on me for your upkeep. Being as you'll be unable to take care of yourself, I'll have to help you with the more mundane daily tasks. We will cross that bridge when we get to it, okay? But for now, all you have to know is, you are mine, and you will write for me. That is your only task. Understand? Nod, darling. Good boy. Now I'm going to let you drink this. You sit tight, and think of your next story. I'm sure you can come up with something in the meantime. Oh, and baby? Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I, I know I've seen his pictures before, but he's much cuter up close and in person. Maybe there's something more? No, no, no. <laughs> Len Millet, he's here as your muse. Nothing more. Perish the thought, girl. He's a means, and that's it. We can't be swayed by his beautiful flowing hair, or his gorgeous lips, or how he reacts when you call him a good boy. Ugh, shower. I need a shower to clear my head of such thoughts. He's a muse and only your muse, nothing more. Shower time, and then time to get him to work. Yes, that's what I'll do. Clear those thoughts, and come back to him when he's refreshed, and get him started on his real duty here. Duty to write. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.